What is the best table tennis rubber for modern table tennis? Choosing the backhand rubber is not the same as forehand rubber. There are common questions that many new players ask me, so today I will try to explain how to buy a perfect table tennis rubber for your backhand. This buying guide is updated in December 2021. Understanding best rubbers for backhand First of all, you need to know that choosing the backhand rubber is not like the forehand rubber. Backhand rubber is different than the forehand rubber. Because you hit the ball with a harder, a longer stroke on your forehand. Why you hit the ball on your backhand side with a much shorter and quicker stroke? For the new trend in table tennis, you can choose the rubber which is marked as the P version. P version means that the rubber is built and tested with the new poly ball. Or you can choose the harder version of your rubber. The harder version will fit better the new trend, like choosing Tenergy 05 hard instead of the normal version Tenergy 05. Forehand rubber. Why players prefer choosing the hard or even very hard rubber on the forehand side? Good players also prefer tacky Chinese rubbers as forehand rubber. Because on your forehand, forehand side, you can hit very hard. Using the forehand, you can hit while rotating your whole body, it is the mechanism of this stroke. Backhand rubber. Unlike forehand rubber, you need to choose the backhand rubber differently because the mechanism of the backhand stroke is different than the forehand technique. You normally can only do the backhand strokes in front of your body, so backhand stroke is much shorter and weaker than the forehand stroke. That is the reason why you should play with the softer rubber on the backhand side. So here is my guide to choosing the best rubbers for your backhand side. <laughs> How to choose backhand rubber? Choosing a backhand rubber is not the same as choosing your forehand rubber. Here are my tips. Choose bouncy rubbers. Always aim for offensive and fast rubber for your backhand side. Prefer using the sensor, high tensor, ESN Japanese rubber on the backhand side. Use Chinese rubber on the backhand side only if you can hit very hard with your backhand. Choose a rubber not too soft, neither too hard, around 41 to 53 ESN hardness scale. Too soft rubber will bottom out the ball, too hard rubber will is difficult to spin the ball. Choosing medium hard rubber. Don't use very hard, harder than ESN 53 degree on your backhand. Choose a rubber with a thickness around 2mm to 215mm or 2.2mm. 2 
down to to thick rubber, thicker than three two point three millimeter sponge thickness. Don't use max thickness if you are a beginner. The best backhand rubber are bouncy rubbers, because bouncy rubbers give you an additional speed for backhand. Backhand strokes are short. Don't use too soft rubber. Don't choose too soft backhand rubbers, softer than 35 ESN hardness scale. It is very bad. Easy to spin, but the ball's quality, speed and spin is average. Contradictory to many Western coaches who insist new players with soft to very soft rubber on the backhand side. In China, new players begin with medium hard rubber. And they improve faster. Trust me. When you improve your level, prepare to upgrade your backhand rubber. The upgrade means choosing the harder and faster rubber. Think about color. Red and black rubber are not the same. Top players often choose red rubber on the backhand side. What is a good rubber for the backhand? A good backhand rubber needs to provide. Spinny ball at the low impact shots, serve, receive, top spin, flick. Additional speed to aggressively return the ball, to initiate the first attack, to counter attack. Ability to flick, hit on the table, to fit the new trend of table tennis. One of the reason for the success of Harimoto Tomokazu, big phenomena in the modern table tennis era. What is the optimal hardness for the backhand rubber? How hard or how soft? Rubber depends on your hitting power. Pro players will play with very hard and fast rubbers, while beginners will play with softer rubber. The optimal combination between the forehand rubber and the backhand rubber is forehand rubber's hardness equal to its hardness. The backhand rubber's hardness is x minus two hardness. This formula works best. Test tested on many of my players. So, for example, on your forehand side, the sweet hardness for you is about 49 ESN scale. So, for your backhand side, you should choose the 47 ESN hardness scale. Optimal range backhand hardness equal forehand hardness minus two.